Agora TV. The world is thinking. Oddly enough, I think the best answer comes from the oldest of these approaches, looking at the archaeological record. Because people have said, hey, in order to have language, you have to have the ability to think of symbols and deal with symbols. And if you have the ability to deal with symbols, that's probably going to express itself in ways beyond just language. That's where you get things like art or artistic expression like carvings. All right? So if you have these indicators of, symbol of symbolism, that indicates you at least have the potential for language. Because if you have something like this cave painting, we look at it and say, OK, that's like some type of bison or so forth. And that's automatic to us because we're so used to dealing with symbols, we don't realize that, no, actually, that's just a bunch of squiggles on a wall. It's only because we have this symbolic capacity that we can translate that into thinking of an animal that's running around out there. That's uniquely human, as best we can tell. So this indicates symbolic capacity, which suggests the potential for language. And what's interesting is that when you look at the archaeological record, the first like really good evidence for symbolism starts to appear at about 50,000 years ago. Okay? And by good evidence for symbolism, I mean things like beads and cave paintings and carved bones and burying people with objects. All of these things that only have meaning if you think symbolically. All right? And what's particularly intriguing is that these, uh, this evidence of symbolism appears almost exclusively with early modern humans and not at Neanderthal sites in general. So this actually is indirect evidence, but still evidence, for the proposition that language began in modern humans maybe about 50,000 years ago, or at least the potential for it did, which when we think about the whole chain of human evolution, that's pretty recent. I mean, our anatomy, our, at least our skeletal anatomy, achieved its modern form maybe 160,000 years ago. So this suggests that language was one of the last guests to arrive at the party that, that you know, we are. Um, and it also suggests that perhaps Neanderthals lacked language, which would reinforce the hypothesis that says, OK, maybe it's language differences that helped our ancestors outcompete the Neanderthals. Because with language, we could be better organized, transmit knowledge better, and thus have an advantage. 